Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here is a giant book haul and apparently my sister's dog. Hello. <laughs> It's almost D-I-N-N-E-R time and I'm watching him for the night, so he might be hovering. Hey, sit, sit, <laughs> you're in my face. Okay, so I have this ginormous stack, many stacks of books to haul for you today. Here, let me straighten this out. Um, and let's get to it. I'm just gonna go all willy nilly because I should have done one sooner before my birthday because adding books because of my birthday just added a lot more. <laughs> so let's just pull from the pile, okay? So first I have the Plus One by Maisie Eddings. This was a birthday present from Kate, from the book of Kate. I love you, Kate. Um, she's one of my besties. And so I'll link her down below. I'll link everyone I talk about down below, by the way. All of them are amazing people, amazing booktubers, amazing friends. So yeah, I love this one. Um, I'm only missing, I think one, other book in this series um, after this, but I love this one. This one is like a big dating romance at a wedding, even though they hate each other. Tori from Novel Life got me Steph's Outcast by Ruby Dixon for my Ruby Dixon collection. I'm so excited to have this. Thank you so much. I'm always so happy to get another Ruby book because I just need to add to my collection. So this is one of the latest books in this series, um, the Ice Home series, because I, I think it's, is it the last one? It's like second to last or something like that. Thank you so much, Tori. I love you. I'm just, I need to thank like all of my friends, honestly, for gifting me so many amazing books. You do not need to do this. My best friend Zay over at Witty Reads sent me a few books. This is one of them. This is Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. I love this one so much. It's a surprise baby romance, but she's not pregnant with like the hero's baby. They're best friends and he's gonna like help her out. It's so good like this book is stunning i found this book at a half price books and needed to get it um i think i went to a half price books on my birthday and this is one of the books that i found i found the vampire who loved me by teresa medrios i didn't even know that teresa medrios wrote like paranormal vampire romances she writes what i thought only historicals so um i love this and it even has like a step back for it being uh i think this is just paranormal i may be like totally wrong maybe it's like historical paranormal or something i don't know but a vampire and Teresa medrios yes please i got two books sent by an author these are two books from daniela romero um she writes college sports romance it's actually this one takes place in high school i've read this one i have not read this one yet but this is the first book in her Sorry, the dog is licking me. If you hear licking sounds, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, this one is a soccer romance and it's a series all about the same couple. Whereas like this series is, I think it starts out as high school and each, mostly each book is about a different couple. So I've read this one. Um, this one is like new girl in town with um, the like football bad boy. So it was really fun. And these editions are so pretty. I love like, look, there's like, end pages, not end pages, I'm so sorry, like character pages to indicate whose chapter is whose. So that's really cool. These are like an amazing, like floppiness to them, both of them do. So thank you so much Daniela for sending these to me. And they're also signed, so love that. Um, but I will need to be adding them to my collection. Tori also got me Ever After Always by Chloe Lisa. Now I think my whole entire Chloe Lisa collection with the new covers is complete. Um, I still need to somehow figure out how to get the, I think, UK edition of the last book in like the OG cover. Cause I think the UK version, they did it in the o, uh, OG cover. And I need that, I need that, but I gotta figure out how to get that. How do you get that? I don't know. Thank you so much, Tori. Love you and I love this book. Zay also got me Business Casual by BK Borison. This is the last book in her Love Light Farm series. I know we both love BK Borison and we both love this series, so. Love you, girl. Thank you for getting me this. Kate from The Book of Kate, my bestie. She also got me this edition of Jane Eyre, and I collect editions of Jane Eyre. It's probably my favorite classic of all time besides Pride and Prejudice, because I just, I grew up reading this and loving it. And this edition is absolutely stunning. Like, hello. It even has like end pages, which are beautiful. It has deckled edges, which I love. It's it's beautiful, it's stunning. So thank you so much, Kate. It's like one of my favorite editions 
than I've ever had of this book. On my birthday, I went to Half Price Books. I found these two next books along with the Teresa Medrios. I found like an $8 version of The Stopover by T.L. Swan. I've never read anything by T.L. Swan, but I think this book is like probably $20 on Amazon and I found it for eight bucks. So I was like, okay. I mean, we'll see if I like it. I very rarely buy books that I have not read yet. Very good things about T.L. Swan. Is this the one I think they meet on a plane or something and she's a single mom? I don't know. And then I also found Butcher and Blackbird by uh, Bryn Weaver. I've heard great things about this book. I think like two serial killers fall in love with each other or something. At a different half price book trip, I found A Soul to Heal by Opal Rain. See, with me moving to a new city, I have to like try out all the half price books. Okay, I gotta stop and find them. So um, I found this one in a half price books. I'm like, this is like so obscure that I would find this indie monster romance at a half price book, but you know that I, I bought it, I snatched that up. So this is the second book in her um, series, her like monster romance series that I love. I've only read this one and book number one. So I was like, oh, I need it. Yeah, this one is great like depression representation. I love it. And speaking of that series, I actually went shopping with Riley from Riley Marie. I love Riley so much. We went book shopping together. We decided to just spend a day going book shopping in Austin. We went to a few bookstores. And so a few of these books will be from some of those bookstores we went to. We mainly went to Half Price Books and then a few other bookstores. Uh, but we went to a few Half Price Bookstores. And I found this one at the one Half Price Books we didn't go to. We went to like a different, like a bookstore bookstore. And I found A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain. So the first book in the series that I absolutely love. And this one's about Orpheus and Rhea. I love this one so much. It's one of my favorite monster romance books. He literally tries to eat her, y'all. Like he tries so hard not to eat her because she smells so good. I guess Finn is joining us for this next one. Um, So I actually got two books sent from a subscriber of mine named Anita. Thank you so much, Anita, for sending me these books. She actually got me two books that I didn't have in the new covers of Ice Planet Barbarians. And her note was like so sweet that she sent me with it. So she sent me Barbarian's Mate and Barbarian's Prize in like the new editions. And so now I'm only missing one. So I'm so excited. I need to find it. I need to find out which one I'm missing. But thank you so much, Anita. This was so incredibly kind. She sent this to me like months ago. I haven't done a book haul in forever. So thank you so much, Anita, if I've not said that already. I also went book shopping with some girlfriends, like literally at the beginning of summer. And I bought Barbarian's Touch by Ruby Dixon for a small local bookstore to like support them. So yeah, I bought this one. This one's one of my favorites in the series and it's the newer edition. This one has um, deaf representation in it and um, yeah. I love it so much. It's so good. It's one of my favorite books in the series. Here are three books that I ended up purchasing on that like book shopping trip with Riley. I got Kissing Kosher by Gina Meltzer. It's one of my favorite books of last year. I love it so much. It has amazing chronic pain representation, with, like baking and stuff like recipe for amazing time for me, obviously. I also found one Chloe Lisa book I didn't have. This is Better Hate Than Never. It's her latest book in the Wilmot Sister series that I did not own yet. I think my Chloe Lisa collection is like complete now besides the like OG UK version that I talked about earlier of the latest last book in the Bergman Brothers series. So I am destined, I need to find that. Um, but yeah, this one is a really good one. It's a Shakespeare retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. And then I also found a Britney Cherry book, a signed Britney Cherry book. This is Behind the Bars by Britney Cherry. I did not have this one and it is signed, but it's signed to someone else. This is signed to Charlie, um, but I don't care. So yeah, hello Finn. <laughs> I've heard great things about this. I think this starts out, like a lot of Britney's books start out kind of like in high school and then it jumps to um like when they're adults so i'm always excited about that and then crystal told me a fun fact is like these two people on the cover are like actually married and like together which is really really fun like a really fun fact to know victoria from victoria's romance reads got me untouchable by talia hibbert this is the one book that i was missing in the ravenswood series so thank you so much you completed my collection victoria i love you so much thank you she got this for me as a birthday present and yeah, I love it so much that it now is going to be displayed on my shelves because I love this book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. If you want a good nanny romance, look no further. I have a new prize possession of mine. So Rachel from Rachel C. Reads, I love her. I'm tagging her below. Um, she went to Book Bonanza this year and I posted on my stories like, is there anyone going to Book Bonanza? Because I don't have a ticket, but Ruby has an exclusive signing edition of Fire in His Blood. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'll totally get it for you, girl. That's why she's amazing. Um, so I pre-ordered a copy and she, picked it up for me and she shipped it to me. So thank you so much, Rachel. Um, so I'm here to show it off. <laughs> this is the um, signing exclusive edition of Fire in His Blood 
by Miss Ruby Dixon. This comes with two exclusive dust jackets and a gorgeous naked version. So let's show off the dust jackets. This is the first dust jacket here. It's absolutely stunning. I love it so much. This one is displayed on my shelf as well. And then this is the dust jacket that's under it that is also beautiful. Look at the foil and those scales and our heroine right here. Absolutely stunning. And then this is what it looks like naked. There are some goodies in here she picked up for me. So I'm, I love you. I love you, Rachel. Thank you so much. I'll show off those goodies in a second, but let's show the naked version because it's beautiful as well. So if you didn't know, this is a dragon shifter post-apocalyptic romance series. And I love it a lot. It's so stinking fun. It's kind of cheesy at times, but that's why I love it. That's why I love Ruby's books, honestly. Um, so this is foiled and then you have the skyline. I believe this takes place in Dallas in like post-apocalyptic time, which is really cool. Cause now I know that Ruby lives in Dallas. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's why I take place before Dallas. It was cause she lives in Dallas. Anyway, <laughs> so um, this one actually also has a step back of them. Beautiful. And then here is the signed page with the exclusive book bonanza page with it signed and then there are there's art on every um i think chapter heading which is stunning stunning the spine is here here's the back and then i'll show off the goodies rachel was so kind to pick up for me so she got me these like ribbons that a lot of people put on their lanyards um abducted by aliens don't save me mm-hmm uh, and this one says dragon bait. <laughs> also, there's this sticker of um, Tiffany and Saluk, I believe. There's this little postcard. I think it's a post. I don't know. I don't think it's a postcard. It's just art <laughs> because there's no like postcard to go back. Anyway, it looks like a postcard. But this one's really cute. And look, there's like a Metlac over there. If you know, if you know, you know what a Metlac is. And then there's a signed little sticker thing. Actually, a few of these still from last year's book bonanza that I went to. Um, and here are some bookmarks she snagged me. Here's one for Barbarian Alien, pink on the back, um, Barbarian Lover. And lastly, the first one I was playing a barbarian. So thank you so much, Rachel, for picking this book out for me. This is like my new prized possession. Speaking of Ruby Dixon, I actually pre-ordered Bound to the Shadow Prince by Ruby Dixon, but this is a part of her fantasy romance series. And I think our hero is a gargoyle. And yeah, here are some goodies that came along with it. There was also a candle that came with it too. It was like, it was so pretty and I can't find it. I don't know what happened. It disappeared it's somewhere, it's somewhere in my room. Um, but here are two main characters. There's an art print for each of them. Here's our heroine. I think her name is pronounced Kandra and our hero's name is Nameth. And I believe he's like a gargoyle like creature. And it also came with a sticker of them. They're so cute. And there's also a signed book plate to put in the book as well. But this book is so wonderfully floppy. Like I love floppy books like this, but it's so huge. Like I need to read this one though, because I absolutely adore Ruby's fantasy romance books. They're so underhyped. Next is a book I bought myself. Um, I only really buy myself books like from Amazon and stuff when like they were amazing and I need them for my collection. So I read The Friendship Study earlier this year by Ruby Barrett, I fell in love with it and I needed a copy. It's pretty short, but it's so good. It's on audio, I listened to it on Libby and it's a like kind of like friends to lovers are in this friendship study and they're not supposed to fall in love with each other because it's a friendship study, you know, it's, it's so good. Like I could not hype this book up enough. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to spoil it, but it's so good. So I had to buy myself a copy. The last book Kate from the book of Kate got me is Only and Forever by Chloe Lisa. This is the last book in the Bergen Brothers series. So this is the one that I needed like the OG cover for, right? I'll stop talking about the OG cover because I need to stop. <laughs> um, but I love this one so much. Thank you so much, Kate. I, I love it. It has great diabetes representation. It takes place in a bookstore. Like I feel like this book is great for book lovers. It's it's really good. If you want like grumpy sunshine with like a grumpy heroine, a sunshine hero, you need this one. We're on like a Bergman brother roll. Okay, I have two more. So this is If Only You by Chloe Lisa. This one's from Morgan from Nothing Better Than a Book, which is perfect. She got it for me for my birthday. So thank you so much, Morgan. She introduced me to this series. So it's very fitting <laughs> that I get this book from her. So thank you so much. You are so incredibly sweet for gifting this one to me. I really love this one. Both characters um, play sports. So they're athletes and they're silly like easy representation. And then Samantha from Books with Samantha got me uh, With You Forever by Chloe Lisa. 
Just since Samantha Jake Convenience. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Samantha. She got it for me for my birthday. Um, she's so incredibly sweet. Um, but yeah, I love this one so much. It has um, ulcerative colitis representation as well. Chloe you know, has to write, knows how to write amazing representation. Also for my birthday, Johanna from My Cozy Book Space bought me Inked and Lies by Gianna Darling. I have the whole entire Fallen Men series on my wish list, even though I have not read it yet. That's like the only books on that whole list that I've probably never read are this series because I already know that I'm gonna love it. I've read book number two and that's the only one that I've read, Welcome to the Dark Side. And she said this is like her favorite in the series. So hopefully I can get to this one. I think this is book five though. So I need to get to it. I need to go back and read book number one, which I have, and then get to this one. I know this one is a fan favorite. Thank you so much to Hannah. She is like amazing. I freaking love her. Next, I actually got sent a package from Harper Collins, and look at how beautiful it is. This was sent so long ago, y'all. Like so, my friends have already like unboxed this on their channels like months ago. <laughs> so they actually sent me the new edition of um, this a Bridgerton book because the show cover like was released so it's out of the package but this is um romancing mr bridgerton by julia quinn i have read this series i have read this book but this cover i think is absolutely stunning penelope is shining bright a lover another great floppy paperback and there were a few goodies in here so i'll show those off we have a little note from lady danbury that says isn't it nice to discover that we're not exactly what we thought we were so that's there. And there's also a note from Miss Julia Quinn with the poster on the back. Then there are these little tabbies that you can open up with little stickies and stuff. And lastly, there's this little mirror. And if you know, you know, there's a mirror scene in the book and the show. Thank you so much Harper Collins for sending this to me. Y'all probably aren't watching this, but that's okay. I felt so honored that they sent this book my way. Another book that was sent my way is Silver Fox by Kayla Gross. She sent me this, Kayla sent me this book and it's one of her newest releases. And it's an age gap romance, uh, dad's best friend. I am literally in the middle of reading this. Um, and it came with a bookmark and a few other things that I cannot find. Like there's like a postcard and a cocktail recipe too. Like, I don't know where all these things went. Like I need to, I, I'm still like not completely unpacked, honestly, after like a month of moving in. Um, Cause I need to buy storage for my closet with all like my book things and stuff. So I don't know where everything went, but um, this bookmark was in here. So it says, my dirty girl. <laughs> Just get foxed on the back and then it is also signed by miss kayla herself i love kayla so much she is she's everything she is one of the first the second author interview that i've ever done on my channel so i'm very blessed to call her a friend another author that i'm blessed to call a friend is miss hannah bonham young and some friends spoiled me with her new additions so let's go through them aspasia over from asparagus is reading sent me the new edition of out on a limb by hannah bonham young um i love this book so much i have the indie one displayed on my shelves up here so i'm so excited to have this one as well because this one's absolutely stunning i love how you get to see disabled characters on the cover. So thank you so much to Spacia. I love you so much. She's one of my like first friends that I ever had on booktube. I also got Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. My lovely friend Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads sent me this book for hitting 10K. So thank you so much. I love you. Like you did not need to send me that. Like it made me tear up getting this. And then she also got me another book. Let me just grab it while we're here because it's on the top. She also got me Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Again, I love you so much. You are so sweet. This one is so good as well. Both of these are so good. I forgot to say what this one's about. This one is about two like single people in their 20s become the guardians of their um, younger siblings and they have to move in together to like help each other out. It's so good. And then Forget Me Not is a second chance romance that is so angsty. So worth the read. Thank you so much Victoria for both of those. I love you. And then Zay over at Winnie Reads got me next to you by Hannah Bonham Young, the new edition for my birthday. So thank you so much today. You already know how much I love you. I won't go into it. This is a Brent Silver's romance that we both absolutely adore. Next is a stack of books, all from the same author, um, Miss Leila Fame, another author friend of mine. I love her very dearly. She actually sent me like all of the books that are available in paperback. Thank you so much, Layla. Like that's a lot. Thank you. Um, so she sent me Devil's Deal, which is her dark fantasy romance with like a devil creature, like this another amazing floppiness. Um, but I have been reading this book for a while. Um, I took a pause on it because it's so long and I'm very intimidated by long books, but I need to just bite the bullet 
I freaking read it, okay? Because I love anything that she writes. We're just gonna go through the stack, honestly. Um, we have Wed to the Basilisk. She sent me, she sent me like this whole series. So Wed to the Basilisk. These are like arranged marriage romances. Wed to Jack Frost. I have not read the Basilisk one, but I have read this one. This one's really fun. Wed to the Ice Strand is one of my favorite ones by her. I love it so much. My favorite book by her is probably her, um, Silver Fury series, the first one in that series is so good too. It's like an orc romance. I've also read Wed to the Lich. This one is darker. So triggering in this one for anorexia. I haven't read this one yet. This is Wed to the Orc, but it's pretty short. So I might have to like take a day one day to read that. And then she also sent me her uh, two books that she has in paperback for her monster security agency series. These are like monster bodyguard books. So this one is Guarded by the Snake and Guarded by the Vodnik. I've not read either of these yet, but I want to. I need to. It'd be so cool one day if she were able to get audiobooks though, because I could just like picture her like monster men. There's Finn's butt. Um, her monster men having like the most delicious, sexy voices ever. <laughs> Another author who sent me a book is At First Smile by Melissa Whitney. I've never heard of this author. I didn't know anything about her until she reached out to me on Instagram and Finn is in the way. But <laughs> if you can see, she has a cane. So again, <laughs> Another book with disability representation on the freaking cover. Love that. Um, so let's read the summary for this one. Disability advocate Penn Meadows is on a mission. Grab a breakfast sandwich, find her gate, and listen to her smutty audiobook. Only the sexy tall man in front of her at Tim Hortons may prove to be a worthwhile distraction. Okay, so this takes place in Canada, right? Because Tim Hortons is in Canada. His soft Irish lilt and mix of gruff sweetness make Rowan Iverson unlike any man she's ever met. After a brief meet cute and even briefer goodbye, the social media influencer ends up seated next to Rowan on a cross-country flight. Okay, I'm not gonna read anymore because I don't want to spoil it, but that sounds so cute. I think I read this, again, I have a horrible memory, but I read the summary when she sent it to me and I was like, huh, yes, especially because there's disability representation. So yeah, I always feel so honored and blessed whenever authors reach out to me to read books. I'm, I'm, I'm having a serious moment, my dude, seriously. <laughs> anyway, I feel so blessed and honored when um, authors reach out to me um, regarding books with disability representation. So thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Melissa, for sending me this. She also sent me a bookmark with it and it says, I like my tea hot well, and my books steamy. So this is a perfectly little like felt bookmark. I know what he wants, but I need to finish this video. I need to F E E D him, but it's not like I need to finish this, my dude. Okay, we're almost, we're almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay, so here are three books that I got from Half Price. This is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. The book club that I was gonna go to that read that was gonna read this book is in two days and I haven't read this yet, so I don't think I'm going to that. Um, but that's why I bought it. <laughs> I just bought it for the sole purpose of attending this book club. Um, but I think it was like too short of a time span since I bought it to read it because also the audiobook hold for this was like months long. It would be different if I could listen to it, but the audiobook hold was forever. So anyway, this is an Emily Henry book. I've only read the first two books she's published, so as like romance books at least, so hi. Okay, I guess he's just sitting here, okay. Um, I found an Indian edition of Credence by Penelope Douglas for like nine bucks, so I got it. Yeah, all I know is that there's like more than one guy in here or something. No idea, but I know Tori loves that book. And then I also found a Kayla Gross book at Half Price Books. It's like the same trip that I found the Opal Rain book. I'm like, who is donating like these indie authors to Half Price Books? But I feel like there are very few of us that read, um, but like, I need to read this one. This one is like, I think a bodyguard, maybe bodyguard, I don't know. One of them is a famous singer and has plus size representation, obviously, because Kayla always makes sure to have those in her books. Next are two PR packages that I received. I received The Problem with Players by Brittany Cherry. Um, Brittany sent me this. First is The Problem with Players, which is her baseball romance, and I love this one already. I haven't read it yet. Um, the heroine's name is Avery, so I feel very special. <laughs> um, and then there are some goodies in the box that I wanted to show off. The box itself says, uh, some love stories deserve a replay. This box is beautiful, by the way. Finn thinks so too, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a sticker that says Honey Creek Hornets. Honey Creek Hornets. I think that says the baseball team that this is a part of. Here's a baseball card of our hero. I think there's one of the heroine in here. Um, here's a little uh, notepad with the team name and logo. There are some Cracker Jacks. I don't know if these are gluten-free, so I'll have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure there's wheat in here, so I can't eat these, but that's okay. 
There is a pen in the shape of a baseball bat. Here is the uh, baseball card of our heroine. Here's like an aesthetic like picture, like graphic of the book. And here are all the tropes on it. It says baseball, first love, roommates, forced proximity, second chance, dislike to lovers, and small town. So cute. I love how they put the tropes in there. I love this sticker. It says in my baseball romance era. We have two stickers of our main characters. I think they're the same ones that were on the baseball cards. And lastly, if my nails would help me pick it up, there we go. Um, there's a stunning print of our two main characters. Like absolutely stunning. Whoever does artwork. I love that. That's the empty box. So thank you so much, Brittany, for sending that to me. Oh my gosh, I found the I found the candle, the Ruby Dixon candle. Here we go. There's Band to the Shadow Prince. <laughs> it was in another PR box that I had. It was, it's like very shallow, but it has some rose petals in it. it. Smells so good, so good. I found all the prints I was missing, y'all. It was in this box. So my other box that I have is actually for Burnout by Rebecca Genshack. Rebecca and her team ended up sending me this book and it's so pretty. Here's this like overlay that's stunning. I've read this book, I love it so much. Um, It's the romance between a motocross racer and a um, gymnast, uh, I think a gold medal gymnast for the Olympics. Um, it came with a few goodies. So first thing is this shirt, Neon Punch, which is the motocross team that the hero is on. I've worn that a few times, it's so cute. It came by the way in this really pretty box. Look at this pretty box. Burnout, and then look at them with like the tropes. Oh, and there's also this little heart keychain. So cute. So thank you so much to Rebecca and her team for sending this to me. I love this box. I feel bad like ever throwing out like beautiful boxes like these. And then in that box, I guess that's where I kept like all my Silver Fox merch or like items that were in there. So I'll show it off. Here's the um, sangria recipe. Um, there's like a little note from Kaylin here for me. Here's a list of all of her books. Um, I have an NSFW art print that I'm covering up that is hot. Um, and then this is actually a postcard from Starlight Haven, which I think this series takes place in. And all that I have left to haul are all the historicals that I've gotten since my last book haul. So let's see, I found um, My Fake Rake by Eva Lee at a Goodwill. And I always have rotten luck with romance books at Goodwill. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I found a book that I've heard of, let's get it. So I just got it, I think it was really cheap. So I've never read anything from this author, but I think Crystal loves this. I found two Wallflower books in the original Step Back versions. I did not have them. So um, I found, it happened one autumn with a Step Back absolutely stunning i love it this is book number two and then i have the last book it happened uh scandal in spring sorry with the step back there is a johanna Lindsay that i did not have yet this is until forever and look at that step back i think it's a fabio one that might be a fabio one i'm not sure this one looks so cool this is a fire store by kathleen morgan and this is like an alien romance like this is an alien romance like yeah, I was telling Tiffany about it and I was like, oh, we need to read that. I found a Suzanne Enoch. I do own a different book in this series with like this beautiful ribbon cover, but like I needed this. I think I bought this when I was on a trip, uh, the shopping trip with Riley. Another Leeds to Claypus I didn't have yet is Lady Sophia's Lover with the step back. Here's another gorgeous step back. Okay, I have not read any books by Victoria Alexander, but like her step backs are too beautiful to pass up. I just realized how chaotic I look right now also, by the way, I'm sorry, I've been driving all day. I visited my parents, so. Anyway, <laughs> this is her highness, my wife. Ready? Here's like a little, it's a little cutout, but it's one of my favorite step backs I think I have ever had, ever. And I think it has like to do with royalty. And if y'all don't know me, I'm a sucker for royalty romances. I found my first Beverly Jenkins book on the wild. I found Night Song. So I have one, I have one, I have one. <laughs> and like the OG cover. So I'm so excited to have this. I like squealed almost in the half price book where I found it. So I don't know what it's about, but look at that mustache man. Look at the stash, look at the stash. <laughs> Call Down the Moon by Katherine Kingsley is another one that I found. Beautiful, stunning, amazing. I love how I don't read the summaries for these because why? I get a lot of them for collection purposes. <laughs> um, I also found uh, Pride's Folly by Fiona Harrow. Harrow, beautiful with yellow pages. And the last one that I have is the OG cover of Devil in Winter by Lisa Clippus with the Back. So I think I have all the collect all the books now. 
including the prequel with the step backs, which I am so proud of myself for finding that. So anyway, that is my very large book haul. I've been here for forever. We've been here for almost an hour. I'm sorry, Finn. He's now laying down in front of me. It's time for F-O-O-D. Okay. It's time to be fed. Um, but anyways, let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And thank you so much again for anyone who sent me a birthday gift or a gift for hitting 10K. Like y'all are amazing. I love y'all so much. So if you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a book stack emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.